Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov, and recently I got this email, and normally I don't do this, I don't send emails like that. But it was a question, can you implement this task, or help me implement it? That particular website has a carousel, and you have to scroll down to that carousel, and you have to click next until you find a particular course like this one, and then go to that site. Well, okay, it's a good question, and a good... Uh, Puzzle. So I prepared the project. I set the base URL. I change the scope behavior so it doesn't go to the top but instead stays in the center. I disable Chrome Web Security because it will visit the second domain after the click. And I disable some of the domains which just inject a bunch of ads and crap. Okay, let's write the spec. So I'm visiting the site. So the next thing when I visit the site is to find the section of the carousel and it takes a while as you can see to load everything uh, but if i look at the markup for this particular section then i have one section with this title 20 course video library followed by the section with a carousel so why don't we take this text and we'll find it so it contains section if a text should be visible, just to make sure it loads, um, scroll into view, and then the next section after that will be our carousel. Let's see if this works. Loads the side, becomes visible, scrolls. Okay, we're at the carousel, and now we need to look at the slides. Right? So there's also this dynamic thing where it jumps, but that's fine. Okay, so let's look at individual slide. Okay, we can see that there's animation and there are a bunch of slides and they keep moving. But basically, we need to find a slide with class swiper slide and it contains this. Uh, what was the text? Uh, it was like with seven live projects or something. And because all the slides are already in the DOM, like it will exist, right? The only thing we have to check. If it's visible or not. Notice that it says yeah it's very it just it's not visible. Okay so we have to check if an element is visible or not. So once we get this element then we get it right and what we can do now say if Cypress and Cypress comes with DOM utils so you can say is visible and if it's visible we can say you know found it and we can wrap it and find um, this get started and click on it okay if we're lucky and it's right on the first slide then it will work right away well of course it's not visible so what do we do instead else and i'll just add one more one second for clarity and we need to go back and try again but before we do that we have to click on this next button so let's look at the next element Okay, so it's slide swiper button next. Okay, that's the thing that we need to click. So get swiper button next and click. And let's see if this clicks and goes to the second slide. Perfect. So notice it already clicked once. And now we have to repeat again, right? Find a swiper slide, check if it's visible, iterate. Okay. The simplest thing is get next slide to wrap it in a function and call that function to kick it off. Now this only goes to the second slide at most. We have to call it again if we click on the next button. So we'll say then after you click get next slide again. Let's see if this works. Okay, notice it keeps clicking, advancing, found that slide with this text automation architect in selenium 7 live project and the final thing we want to do is probably you know, select this url and selecting url is kind of junky oh, did it just crash on me i think it just crashed on me all right we're starting running the test again okay we can bypass this by going to our command log and it shows the url Right, so this is the new URL, and we'll add it as an assertion to our test. At the end of the whole affair, our URL should equal wherever it's right now, 
And this is how you implement a slider carousel by creating a little function that you call after you click and advance to the next slide. And then just check that you get to the right place.